Hello Malaysians It's very early in the morning And it's uh, Sunday Birth time uh, For the past three days I have been uh, Struggling with uh, My computer Maybe it's my computer, maybe not I don't know I posted three videos to YouTube But uh, they were just hanging there With the word processing, processing, processing And nothing happened for three days so I decided to delete it and uh, start all over again. I was watching the Chirama of Dr. Sri Anwar and uh, all the famous members of the Pakatan Rayat, Tian Chua, Lim Kit Siang and all that. Uh, oh my God, I was very, very encouraged. I mean, for all these 60 years that... Uh, um, Malaysia was under the uh, stewardship of uh, the so-called Barisan National but as I said there is really no Barisan National uh, there is only AMNO, because even the few seats that uh, MCA uh, were uh, given by, by, the, by the alliance uh, have been uh, re- uh, taken by uh, AMNO because uh, there was no suitable Chinese candidate to front that uh, contest. Even President of MCA, Dato Chua Soi Lek, has uh, opted out of the contest. Well, be that as it may, uh, we are all very fortunate now that the, the Malay people are beginning to see that uh, the AMNO as a government is disastrous for the people and for the country of Malaysia. I particularly would like to speak to the Sabahans and the Sarawakians. Uh, it's very uh, obvious to me that the Malays of Peninsula M Malaysia, meaning uh, the Malays of AMNO, they have treated the Dayaks, the Muruts, the Kadasans, the Ibans as if these were uh, Aboriginal, um, you know, the, the Aboriginals of uh, the jungle, the Orangutan. You know, and they have absolutely no respect for the people of Sarawak and Sarawak uh, and, and Sabah. Uh, for example, uh, Sabah and Sarawak they do not get um, an equitable share of the benefits of of, uh, of oil flowing from from the wells of Sabah and Sarawak. Uh, it's not even the oil from Peninsula Malaysia, but all the uh, resources, all the profits, all the uh, earnings from uh, the oil, the production of oil in Sabah and Sarawak have been um, taken over by the AMNO Malays and used as um, the largesse of, of the government to uh, distribute to the Malays of Peninsular Malaysia and that's, that's the thing that uh, I still don't understand why is it that uh, Sabah Malays uh, sorry, sorry, sorry Sabah Bumiputras meaning the Kadasans the Muruts the Ibans uh, the Sabahans and all these uh, uh, natives of of uh, of uh, Sabah and Sarawak. When I use the word native, I do not mean it in any derogatory sense of the word. I mean uh, natives to mean uh, people who are born and bred in Sabah and Sarawak. Why is it the people of Sabah and Sarawak do not have their own as chief minister of, of Sabah and Sarawak? Why do you need Tun Mustafa why do you need uh, type Mahmud? These are Malays. They are not Ibans. They are not Kadasans. 
and the majority of the people of Sabah and Sarawak belong to the natives. So I'm a bit puzzled. So the, the, the solution I offered uh, in one of the three clips which uh, I posted to YouTube and uh, it was practically impossible to post it to Facebook as well. I don't know, due to my computer or something, I don't, don't know what's wrong with it, but I haven't been able to. But I think after this video, I will try to uh, post the three video clips that I made uh, the last three days. Well, the point that I want to raise here and the advice that I give to the people of Sabah and Sarawak is this. Take back the government of Sabah and the government of uh, Sab and Sarawak. Take it back. Make, make it so that you force uh, the Malays to accept that uh, Sabah and Sarawak will be helmed by a chief minister who is born and bred Sabahan and Sarawakians. When I say force the Malays to accept that, I mean AMNO because they are the the, the government in uh, the party in government. But from my observation of the Chiramas that uh, are run by the Pakatan Rayat and their uh, and their heroes, uh, I I find it impossible to even imagine that. Uh, Barisan could win this election totally out of the question. I mean, the Cherama of Dato Sri is anything between ten to fifteen thousand, uh, and the Cherama from for by the uh, uh, Amno is anything like under one hundred people, and obviously all the clowns uh, trying to uh, uh, appear uh, lively and uh, 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 viable. Well, we can say goodbye to Barisan National or AMNO, but only with this caveat in mind. I have always said that the part, the, the elections, the 13th general election has already been won by Pakatan Rayat. It is how, how are they, uh, Pakatan Rayat I mean, how are they going to uh, assume office? The civil service have no idea what government means. The civil service, the police, uh, the army, all these people uh, do not understand what the democratic process means. They do not understand that the government and AMNO are not the same thing. AMNO is not the government. AMNO is the party that forms the government. But AMNO is not the government. And this is where uh, the confusion arose in the para coup d'etat. You see, all the government servants thought they were working for the government. But they are not. You see, the government was the Pakatan government. Uh, it wasn't a, a, a Barisan national government. But it was uh, it was uh, uh, taken over by a coup d'état. But of course, this time around, <laughs> I'm, I I can venture to guess there might not even be one Barisan National uh, representative in Perak. There could be some because of the Malay votes. But uh, even the Malays now are beginning to realize that uh, Amno is a disaster for their own country and for their own sake. Well, this is important. As I said, I started it and I'm, I'm, I'm developing on this idea that the peninsula Malays look on you people in Sarawak and Sabah as Sakais, lacking in sophistication and no education to talk of. But you are not. People of Sabah and Sarawak are the same in every respect, in every respect, in intelligence, in talents, in education, in every respect,
people of Sabah and Sarawak are the same as the Malays of Peninsular Ma Malaysia. Uh, well, you see, uh, they have, because they do not measure up to the Chinese, so what they do? They put this as if there is a legislation to say uh, Bumiputra are superior uh, in political rights and uh, in, in every respect um, in the administration of the government. Um, well, they have made that, uh, you know, the foundation of the very government of the Barisan National. Now, this is wrong. This is a chance for us to take back the government, take back, remove all the shit that Mahathir has done to stick all these amendments to the constitution until today, uh, the constitution of Malaysia is in, in actual fact uh, no constitution at all. Malaysia is a dictatorship and is not guided by the constitution. Um, every provision, every contest that comes up uh, that the opposition brings up to the court or to the Speaker of Parliament, um, they are the, the, the objections of the opposition have been struck down uh, uh, irrespective of the true construction of uh, the issue before the court. Now we must not allow this to happen because this time around I can see that uh, uh, there will be an overwhelming support for Pakatan Rayad, and in that respect, it is not quite so easily uh, manipulated by uh, the Election Commission because of the overwhelming support. The Election Commission cannot r ride roughshod over uh, the interests of the opposition. To that extent, I think we are fortunate, and we need to make sure that there is a huge turnout in order to drown out uh, the uh, uh, stuffing of the ballot boxes. As well, this is not my idea. I have to admit this was not my idea. But I read it uh, in, in one of the uh, media or, uh, or heard it on the media or whatever. Uh, it's not my idea. You see, but it's an excellent idea which I, I endorse totally. People must all turn out in great numbers to vote. That way, uh, the election commission cannot stuff the ballot boxes. Don't be surprised because the election co commission is going out on a limb uh, to uh, see, to, to manipulate the system uh, in order to. Uh, uh, give Barisan uh, national uh, victory over the Pakatan. But it's very difficult this time around. Anyway, this is important. People of Sabah and Sarawak, think of yourself as the equal of the Malays of Peninsular Malaysia. Do not think of yourself as anything less than that. Because for all these 60 years, you people in Sabah and Sarawak have been uh, of that sort of mindset. And that's why uh, with the perversion of Dr. Mahathir to issue one million blue IC in order to uh, entitle these Indonesian and uh, Filipino Malays who are foreigners in every respect, uh, the, the uh, right, the power to vote, uh, the right to vote. And see, so what happens? Now we see this Lahat Dato thing coming up, materializing. Why? Because the Sulu Malays think that the Malays in Sabah are their brothers and will support them. And that's the reason why uh, they had dared to invade uh, Lahat Dato. Well, anyway, I, I'm going to close it here. Uh, just in case uh, I may exceed my time of 20 minutes, but I'll get back to uh, my, 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 my hustings again for, for Pakatan Rayat. I'm so very happy today to see what's happening uh, in uh, the hustings by Pakatan Rayat. Well, 
Good night, good morning, whatever it is, it must be around about 3 a.m. in the morning, really. So, anyway, we'll meet again.